Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find all triplets with zero sum in an array. So here's the problem. Given an array of distinct elements, the task is to find triplets in an array whose sum is zero. Let's look at this example. The output for this array is this and this as both of them have a sum equal to zero. A simple approach is to run three loops and check one by one that sum of three elements is zero or not. If sum of any three elements is zero, then print those elements else print not found. Here is a simple implementation of this problem in C++. We are simply using three loops to find the elements having sum equal to zero, like this. The time complexity of simple solution is O of n cube. Let's look at a better solution to this problem using hash tables. In this method, we run a loop from i equal to zero to i equal to n minus two. Create an empty hash table and run another loop from j equal to i plus 1 to j equal to n minus 1. If negative times sum of the ith and jth element of the array is present in the hash table, we print the elements. Else, we insert the jth element in the hash table. Let's look at the implementation of this problem in C++. So, first we initialize found as false. Then, we loop from i equal to 0 to i equal to n minus 2 and create a hash table. Then we run a loop from j equal to i plus 1 to j equal to n minus 1. If negative times sum of ith and jth element is found, we print those values. Else, we insert the jth element into the hash table. The time complexity of this solution is O of n square and the space complexity is O of n. Let's look at another solution. In this, we first sort the array. Then we loop from i equal to 0 to i equal to n minus 2. Initialize l equal to i plus 1 and r equal to n minus 1. After this, we again loop while L is smaller than R. Each time, check if the sum of ith, lth and rth term is zero or not. If it is zero, print the triplet, increment L and decrement R. If sum is less than zero, then increment L. If it is greater than zero, then decrement R. Let's look at the implementation of this method in C++. First, we sort the array. Then, we loop from i equal to 0 to i equal to n minus 2. In the loop, we declare two variables, l equal to i plus 1 and r equal to n minus 1. After this, we again loop while l is smaller than r. Each time, check if the sum of ith, lth and rth term is 0 or not. If it is 0, print the triplet, increment L and decrement R. If sum is less than 0, then increment L. If it is greater than 0, then decrement R. Let's run our algorithm on this example. First, we sort the array. The sorted array becomes this. Then, we loop from i equal to 0 to n minus 2 which is 2 in this case. Let's begin with i equal to 0. So when i equal to 0, the value of l and r is 1 and 3 respectively because l is equal to i plus 1 and r is equal to n minus 1 according to the algorithm. Sum of ith, lth and rth term is minus 2, which is less than 0. So according to our algorithm, we increment L. Now L becomes 2. 
the sum of ith, lth and rth term now becomes 0. Therefore, our first triplet becomes minus 3, 2 and 1. And now we increment L and decrement R. Now L is greater than R, so we can move on to I equal to 1. For I equal to 1, L is equal to 2 and R is equal to 3. So the sum of Ith, Lth and Rth term is 2, which is greater than 0. So we decrement R. Now R is equal to 2 and L is equal to 2, which does not satisfy the while condition. So we can move on to I equal to 2. When I is equal to 2, L and R becomes equal to 3, which does not satisfy the while condition. So our algorithm ends here. The output is minus 3, 1 and 2 as it has sum equal to 0. The time complexity of this solution is also O of n square. But the space complexity is O of 1. So this is a better solution. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section.